Helsinki, the capital of Finland, is a city that encapsulates the spirit of. A nation known for its innovation, design, and deep connection to nature. Situated on the southern coast of Finland, this dynamic metropolis is spread across a peninsula and over 300 islands in the Baltic Sea, creating a stunningly picturesque environment that combines urban sophistication with natural beauty. Home to about 650,000 residents, Helsinki is not only the largest city in Finland, but also the cultural, economic, and political heart of the country. In recent years, Helsinki has gained international recognition as a thriving hub of design and technology, earning titles such as the World Design Capital in 2012 and ranking consistently among the world's most livable cities. Yet, despite its modern, cosmopolitan character, Helsinki retains a distinct sense of place deeply rooted in its history and traditions. The city's blend of architectural styles from neoclassical and Art Nouveau buildings to cutting-edge contemporary structures reflects its rich and diverse heritage shaped by centuries of Swedish and Russian influence. Helsinki's unique geography is one of its defining features. The city is a mosaic dot of islands, bays, and peninsulas with a shoreline that stretches for over 130 kilometers. This proximity to the sea is not just a geographic detail, but a vital part of Helsinki's identity and daily life. The city's maritime nature is evident in its harbors, ferries, and waterfront dot promenades, where locals and visitors alike gather to enjoy the fresh sea air and stunning views. The Helsinki archipelago, consisting of around 330 islands, offers endless opportunities for exploration and recreation. Some islands, like Suomenlinna, are steeped in history, while others, such as Pilajasari, are beloved for their natural beauty and outdoor activities. The relationship between land and water defines much of Helsinki's character, providing both a serene backdrop and a playground for activities ranging from sailing and kayaking in the summer to ice swimming and skating in the winter. Helsinki's origins can be traced back to 1550, when it was founded by King Gustav I of Sweden as a trading town intended to rival the Hanseatic city of Reval, modern-day Tallinn. However, Helsinki remained a small and relatively insignificant settlement for several centuries, overshadowed by other more established towns in the region. It was not until the early 19th century that Helsinki began to rise in prominence, largely due to geopolitical shifts in northern Europe. In 1809, following the Finnish War, Finland was ceded by Sweden to the Russian Empire, becoming an autonomous Grand Duchy under Russian control. The strategic importance of Helsinki's location, Tsar Alexander III decided to move the capital of Finland from Turku to Helsinki in 1812. This decision marked the beginning of Helsinki's transformation from a modest coastal town to the capital city of a burgeoning nation. Under Russian rule, Helsinki underwent significant development with a new city plan modeled after the grand imperial cities of Europe. The construction of monumental buildings, such as the neoclassical Helsinki Cathedral and the Government Palace, gave the city a distinctive architectural character that remains a central part of its identity today. Helsinki's architecture is a reflection of its complex history and the various cultural influences that have shaped the city over the centuries. Walking through the streets of Helsinki, one can observe a fascinating blend of styles, from the neoclassical grandeur of Senate Square to the modernist simplicity of Alvar Aalto's buildings. Senate Square, designed by Carl Ludwig Engel in the early 19th century, is the heart of Helsinki's neoclassical architecture. Square is flanked by the imposing Helsinki Cathedral, the University of Helsinki, and the Government Palace, all of which exude a sense of imperial elegance reminiscent of St. Petersburg. This area serves as a testament to the city's transformation under Russian rule and its aspirations to become a major European capital. In contrast to the neoclassical district, the Jugend Stil, Art Nouveau neighborhoods of Helsinki, such as Katajanoka and Era, showcase the city's artistic and cultural renaissance in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These areas are characterized by their ornate facades, 
organic forms, and decorative details, reflecting a period of national romanticism and a desire to express Finnish identity through architecture. The 20th century brought modernism to Helsinki, with architects like Alvar Aalto leading the charge. Aalto's influence is seen throughout the city, from the Finlandia Hall, a concert and congress venue, to the academic bookstore, both of which embody the functionalist principles of modernist design. Today, Helsinki continues to be at the forefront of contemporary architecture and design, with numerous cutting-edge projects that integrate sustainability and innovation. Helsinki's cultural scene is as diverse and dynamic as its architecture. The city is a thriving center for the arts, offering a rich array of museums, galleries, theaters, and music venues that cater to all tastes. The Ateneum Art Museum, part of the Finnish National Gallery, houses an impressive collection of Finnish art from the 18th century to the present day, including works by iconic artists such as Akseli Gallen Kalela and Helene Schierfbeck. For contemporary art enthusiasts, the Kiasma Museum of Contemporary Art is a must-visit. This cutting-edge museum showcases the latest in Finnish and international contemporary art, and its striking modernist architecture, designed by Stephen Hall, is itself a work of art. Kiasma is also a cultural hub, hosting performances, talks, and workshops that engage the public in the creative process. Helsinki's music scene is equally vibrant, with a wide range of genres represented, from classical and opera to jazz, rock, and electronic music. The Helsinki Music Center, Musikitalo, is the city's premier concert venue, home to the Helsinki Philharmonic Orchestra, the Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra, and the Sibelius Academy. The city also hosts several music festivals throughout the year, including the Helsinki Festival, a major multi-arts event that attracts international performers and audiences. Design is another pillar of Helsinki's cultural identity, earning the city the title of World Design Capital in 2012. Finnish design is celebrated for its simplicity, functionality, and connection to nature, and Helsinki is the perfect place to experience this firsthand. The city's design district is a vibrant area filled with boutiques, studios, and galleries showcasing everything from furniture and fashion to ceramics and jewelry. The Design Museum, located in the heart of the district, offers an in-depth look at the history and evolution of Finnish design, featuring works by legendary designers such as Alvar Aalto, Eero Saarinen, and Marimekko. One of the most remarkable aspects of Helsinki is the seamless integration of nature into urban life. The city is surrounded by forests, parks, and waterways, providing residents and visitors with ample opportunities to enjoy the outdoors, regardless of the season. During the summer months, Helsinki's numerous parks and green spaces come alive with activity. Esplanade Park, located in the city center, is a popular spot for picnics, outdoor concerts, and people watching. The park's central location and beautifully landscaped gardens make it a favorite gathering place for both locals and tourists. For those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the city, Central Park, Cascus Puisto, offers a vast expanse of wilderness right on Helsinki's doorstep. This 10,000 hectare park stretches from the city center to the northern suburbs, providing endless trails for walking, cycling, and even cross-country skiing in the winter. Helsinki's connection to the sea is also evident in the city's recreational offerings. The archipelago's islands provide a tranquil retreat for those seeking to unwind in nature. Pihlaja Sari, just a 10-minute ferry ride from the city, is a favorite summer destination for its sandy beaches, rocky shores, and lush forests.
Sirasari, another popular island, is home to an open-air museum that showcases traditional Finnish wooden architecture, offering a glimpse into the country's rural past. In the winter, Helsinki transforms into a snowy wonderland, with opportunities for ice skating, skiing, and even ice swimming, a popular Finnish tradition. The city's outdoor ice rinks, such as the one in the heart of the city at the railway square, are popular spots for families and friends to gather and enjoy the winter season. Helsinki is not only a city with a rich past and vibrant present, but it is also a city committed to sustainability and the future. Finland has long been a global leader in environmental initiatives, and Helsinki is at the forefront of this movement. The city has ambitious plans to become carbon neutral by 2035, and this commitment is reflected in various aspects of urban life. Public transportation in Helsinki is efficient and eco-friendly, with an extensive network of buses, trams, metro lines, and ferries that make it easy to get around without a car. The city's bike-sharing program, City Bikes, is another popular and sustainable way to explore Helsinki, with over 3,000 bikes available. The linguistic landscape of Helsinki is shaped by its history, cultural diversity, and the globalized nature of modern Finland. Finnish is the predominant language spoken by the majority of the population. Swedish also holds official status reflecting Finland's bilingual heritage. English is widely spoken, especially in Helsinki, making it accessible for international travelers and expatriates. Swedish, Svenska, is the second official language of Finland, spoken by about 5% of the population nationwide. In Helsinki, the percentage of Swedish speakers is slightly lower, but Swedish remains a vital part of the city's linguistic landscape. This is because Finland was part of the Kingdom of Sweden for over 600 years, from the Middle Ages until 1809, and Swedish has retained its official status ever since. In Helsinki, Swedish is visible in many aspects of daily life. Street signs, public transportation announcements, and official documents are often presented in both Finnish and Swedish. The bilingual nature of the city is especially pronounced in areas like education and public services, where residents can choose to receive services in either language. For tourists and expatriates, this means that navigating Helsinki without knowledge of Finnish or Swedish is relatively easy. English is commonly used in restaurants, shops, hotels, and tourist attractions. Public transport information, museum exhibits, and event programs are usually available in English, making it accessible to international visitors. Currency. The official currency in Finland is the euro. Whoa. Cash is accepted, but Helsinki is a largely cashless society, with card payments being the norm. Credit and debit cards, especially Visa and MasterCard, are widely accepted in stores, restaurants, and even on public transportation. ATMs and currency exchange. ATMs are widely available throughout the city, and currency exchange services can be found at the airport, in major hotels, and in the city center. However, withdrawing cash from an ATM and paying with a card are usually the most convenient options. Accommodation. Helsinki offers a range of accommodation options, from luxury hotels to budget hostels and Airbnb rentals. The city is divided into different districts, each offering a unique experience. City Center, ideal for first-time visitors, close to major attractions like Senate Square, Helsinki Cathedral, and the Esplanade Park.
Calio, a trendy area known for its bohemian vibe with many bars, cafes, and affordable accommodations. Punavori, located in the design district, perfect for art and design lovers. Campi, a central area with shopping centers, restaurants, and excellent transport links. Social etiquette. Finns are generally reserved and value personal space. It's common to greet people with a handshake. In social situations, it's considered polite to avoid interrupting others while they speak, and maintaining a quiet demeanor is appreciated in public spaces. Tipping is not obligatory in Finland, as service charges are usually included in the bill. However, it's common to round up the bill or leave a small tip if you receive exceptional service in restaurants or taxis. Sauna culture. Saunas are an integral part of Finnish culture, and Helsinki has many public saunas you can visit. When visiting a sauna, it's important to follow local customs, such as showering before entering and sitting on a towel. In mixed-gender saunas, swimsuits are usually worn, while in single-gender saunas, it's common to go nude. Dining etiquette. Finnish mealtimes are typically earlier than in some other European countries, with lunch around noon and dinner around 6 to 8 p.m. In restaurants, it's common to pay at the counter rather than waiting for the bill at your table. Safety. Helsinki is one of the safest cities in the world. Crime rates are low, and it's generally safe to walk around even at night. However, it's always advisable to take standard precautions, such as keeping an eye on your belongings and being aware of your surroundings. Healthcare. Finland has a high standard of healthcare. If you require medical attention, Helsinki has well-equipped hospitals and clinics. EU citizens can use the European Health Insurance Card, EHIC, for access to public health care. Travelers from outside the EU should ensure they have appropriate travel insurance. Emergency numbers. The general emergency number in Finland is 112, which can be used to contact the police, fire department, or medical services. Helsinki is a city that beautifully balances modernity with tradition, urban life with nature, and local culture with global influences. Whether you're exploring its rich history, enjoying its vibrant cultural scene, or simply relaxing in one of its many parks, Helsinki offers a unique and memorable experience.